sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13, so that means this channel is not for anyone under the age of 13. So what is going on, my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 18 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to The Secret of the Ooze Super Shredder. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So as you can see here, we do get this collector-friendly style box for the Super Shredder. So on the front of the box here, it does replicate the poster or maybe the DVD or Blu-ray cover. And it does say Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze, Super Shredder. We do get an image of the turtles and then the silhouettes of Toka and Razor. Also says Nickelodeon. Then you can flip that open there, it does have a promo image of the figure. Then we do get the window displaying the figure and the accessories. This thing does look badass. And then the bottom of the box here, we do get the barcode of Blood People Bust Open. Nobody cares about and everyone who is in on this project. Over at NECA, then here is the top of the box. The one side with an image of the figure. The other side, another image of Super Shredder. And then the back does have a few poses that you can get this figure into. But anyway... That is the packaging. Let's get this figure open to take a closer look at the Kevin Nash version of Shredder. You know, all this time I never knew Kevin Nash played Super Shredder all those years ago. I recently found out maybe like two months ago. Pretty funny story, isn't it? Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look at Super Shredder. And NECA, like usual, man, freaking killed it with the paint and sculpt here. Really dig the way this turned out with the head sculpt. Looks great, the helmet here. Probably one of my favorite parts to the figure. I just love the way the armor looks on this Super Shredder here. Like these buzzsaw looking pieces. It looks like uh, with the way they did the paint, how it's more silver where that is. And then the rest of this piece here is more like a blackish color. It looks like he was just sharpening the buzzsaw looking pieces, which looks really cool though. Really dig the way that looks. And then the face mask here it, it is... Awesome looking man. Really nice job with the paint and sculpt. He has the eyes bulging out there, which he should because he like lost his mind after he drank that canister of ooze. And the eyes seem to be painted pretty clean. You can see the eyebrows under there as well. And then the rest of the helmet here looks really nice too. Love the paintwork. Uh, ju just on the armor pieces alone and then I like the upper piece and the neck piece as well the paint looks just as good as the helmet there and I like the sculpt to it as well and then another favorite part of mine to this figure is the shoulder armor love the way they did the paint the shading is really nice looking on that yeah I, I definitely dig it and then we get all the uh, spike pieces which are like a softer rubbery type plas plastic as you can see there they do have that bus saw look to them as well. And there's the back. And then we do get his very nice cloth cape here. Wish there was bendy wire in it, but I will definitely take a non-wired cloth cape over a clunky plastic one. And I dig uh, the way it looks on the back there. That's pretty cool looking. It has like a shiny look to it. And then uh, the, the inside of it is just a regular black there. But it is made of a nice material. And then for the torso here, great sculpt detail on the muscle definition there. He has like muscles on top of muscles on top of muscles. But I guess that's because he drank the canister of ooze. And see how the shading is on the back? I don't know why they didn't just go this route. See, that has a more basic, realistic type shading compared to how it is on the front there with the white pieces. And then even on the inside of the white pieces, they added like a yellowy orange paint as well which is a little odd and then the arms also sculpted and painted really well as you can see there elbow joints are pretty good also and then we do get the gauntlets which also has the bus saw type look to the spikes and it has that beautiful paintwork once again and i like the way the uh, wrappings look along with the straps as well that looks pretty dope and then we do get his underwear piece but i do like the belt piece that looks pretty cool the paint very well done on it. Same with the sculpt detail. There's the back there. And even on the underwear piece, it has like a sculpted texture to it. I don't know if you could pick it up on camera though. And then the legs there. Crazy uh, muscles going on there. But very nice sculpt and paintwork there. The knees look pretty good too. There's the back of the legs. Then we do get the lower legs here with the armor and the spikes that have that same buzzsaw type look to them. 
great job once again on the paint on that. Then we do get those those wrapping type pieces with these straps as well, looking pretty dope. Love the way that looks. The sculpted wrinkles on those are, are sculpted beautifully, man. And then the feet there, we do get his shredder sandals, which also turned out really nice with the straps and everything like that. And then the soles here are, are huge as hell. And then the bottom of them, not much going on besides a couple peg holes. So overall, NECA is just absolutely killing it with their movie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. This super shredder is just full of awesomeness, and I, I think they did a, an, an outstanding job with the paint and sculpt detail. But anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, Super Shredder isn't included with a ton of stuff, but I mean, what else could you have included with the figures? Well, we do get, we do get his weapon. I forgot what the name of that weapon is, but then we also do get the TGRI canister of ooze. And this time, this one is filled up with the ooze. The one we got with the turtles is the empty canister i believe but this looks pretty dope i do like the green that they used for the ooze and you can see the tgri is painted on there really clean as well it looks pretty good man so we do get that and then we do get shredders bladed whoops bladed weapon here and i like the way the blade looks this blade is so gruesome like when it stabs into you it's just you're dead if you ever get stabbed by a blade like that but I do like the added paint that they added over that silver. Looks pretty good. And then over here, I like the way that looks. Kind of has like a battle damage look to it. And then the rest of it is just a black plastic. And then we do get like a, a spearhead tip kind of at the other end of it. But this thing looks pretty dope. So we do get that stuff. And then we also get seven alternate hands. And starting on the top right here, we do get a pair of fists, of course, which do come on the figure out of the packaging. Then we do get a pair of gripping hands, which is meant for him to grip onto his bladed weapon. And then we do get a pair of open palm type hands, where his fingers kind of have like a semi-clenched look to it. And then we do finally get a left gripping hand, which is meant for him to grip onto the canister of ooze and we get some excellent paint and sculpt detail throughout all seven hands you can see that they all have that nasty type look to it because when he drank the the ooze it kind of deformed his skin you know what i mean it just made his skin look real nasty and gross there and his hands are fairly simple to swap out as well and like what daredevil 19 always says that's definitely a good thing because you don't want to risk breaking a wrist joint on your new NECA super shredder figure but anyway that is all the accessories included with super shredder let's keep moving on with the rest of the review shall we now for the height of super shredder to the very top of his head it looks like he's about eight and a half inches tall then to the very top of the buzzsaw looking piece on his helmet he's a little bit under nine and a half inches tall and then here he is compared to the NECA original movie team in TKC Jones, Raphael, a foot soldier, and the original Shredder. And as you can see, this Super Shredder definitely towers over the other figures in this line. And then here he is compared to the Marvel Legends Evolution of Groot, the Storm Collectibles Dark Side, the NECA Ultimate Edition City Hunter Predator, and the NECA Assassin Predator. And as you can see, this Super Shredder definitely is tall. He's taller than a regular NECA Predator, but he's a bit shorter compared to these other figures and about the same size as that Groot. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectibles Sector, the Marvel Legends Retro Series Deadpool, the Mafex Justice League Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here he is compared to the SH Figuarts Awaken Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation, and Super Shredder here has some pretty damn good movements. We do get two joints at the neck here, and since we have the helmet, which is a clunky piece, you're not going to get crazy articulation, ar articulation, plus you have the shoulder pad pieces that could possibly get in the way. But with both joints, Super Shredder looks up about that much. And then both joints looks down pretty good, actually. And then both joints, you do get some pivot out of it. And then they both also do swivel. So not bad movement at uh, the neck joints. Then we do get a torso joint and a waist joint. The waist joint 
has some looseness to it, but it's not like bad looseness. I don't, I don't know how to really explain it. Like, see how it moves around easily like that? Even the torso a little bit, but it's not, not too bad, and it's like that out of the packaging. But with both joints, the torso goes forward pretty well, and so does... Uh, waist so he does crunch forward really good and then both joints goes back really well also very nice pivot at the torso that's some great pivot and then the waist just has slight pivot there then you do get swivel at the torso and then swivel at thy waist and then for the arms here the shoulder joints do go out to the sides 90 degrees definitely good enough they do go up and down we don't have upper true bicep swivel you do have the lower bicep swivel which is kind of like the elbow joint as well so you can see there's the swivel and then you also do get swivel at the gauntlet and we do have double jointed elbows and those do bend in really well pretty much all the way and then the wrists are on a uh, hinge and a swivel so they do swivel and then they hinge horizontally and all the hands have that horizontal hinge to it now for the legs here be careful uh with paint rub with around the torso and the legs it could cause paint rub i haven't seen any yet but just be cautious of that now shredder with his legs just shy of 90 degrees which isn't too bad i'm sure you could force it a bit more goes to the back a tiny bit let's see if shredder can jean-claude van damn it and he cannot but his legs do go out to the sides pretty good then we do get a decent hip swivel we have the double jointed knees and those pretty much bend back all the way the joint does swivel where it connects into the thigh there and then whoops i keep bumping into the tripod then the ankles hinge up a tiny bit hinge down really well actually and then you do get the forward facing pin ankle rocker there so overall this super shredder uh, uh, has much better articulation than I was anticipating, and you are going to be able to get them in some pretty badass Super Shredder-like poses. I'm about to show you some of those poses right about now. But anyway, that is my review of the NECA TMNT 2 Secret of the Ooze Super Shredder. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure with detail, I'd give it an even 9. Articulation, I'd give it an 8.5. Accessories, I'd give it a 7.5. And then the overall quality, I would give an even 9. If you would like to know the price more to buy this figure, I did get mine from the NECAstore.com, which it did sell out, but it is hitting local Walmarts because it is an exclusive to that store. You can check with Ageless Geeks. Not sure if you'll have any in stock but you can head over to agelessgeeks.com and when you check out use code name daredevil and you will get yourself a bit of a discount if you can't find something on their website i do highly recommend going through their instagram or their facebook page i will put more information in the description below and if you would like to support the channel don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell and if you liked it feel free to give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it oh well i guess you didn't like it but thanks for watching i will see you later of Toka and Razor the Yahoo cha cha damn it overall man uh, almost called them Mesco